DaVinci Resolve for noobs. Today I want to talk to you about how you can get really buttery smooth motions, animations, and zooms in DaVinci Resolve 20. And I'm going to be moving a little quicker but using four features we've talked about before. The transform option down here in the lower left of your preview window. The transform options in the upper right in the inspector. The new keyframe editor window up here in the upper left. And the show keyframe tray that's going to show keyframes underneath. Now if I've got some footage here of just a bunch of people on screen and let's say I wanted to do something like start with the woman in the lower left and then zoom up to the woman in the upper right. The way I would do that is I would activate the on-screen transform option. Let me zoom out of my center preview window so I have room to work. Let's say I wanted to start by zooming into her in the lower left. Let me just stretch this out on screen. And let's hit the play button and say I wanted to stay zoomed into this point. I would go to the upper right transform option and I would set keyframes for the zoom amount in the X and Y positions. And you'll see that you can now see them in the keyframe tray below me. But let's say from this point up to here, I wanted to zoom up to the girl in the upper right. You can see that it's added those keyframes in the keyframe tray below me. You can see that those are represented in the upper left keyframe editor, and I could find them in the upper right transform window as well. All pretty basic stuff we've talked about. But if I play through this footage, it's kind of a jerky motion. And you see how stiff that is? It starts on that girl in the lower left and sort of shoots right up to the girl in the upper right. And it's like it slams on the brakes right when it gets there. And you can actually see why when you look at the motion of these keyframes. They're very straight lines. The minute I've told the footage to do anything different, it immediately goes zero to 60 and follows in a straight line until it gets to the next position and then stops abruptly. But what's really cool with the new keyframe editor window, you can actually left click hold and drag a box around all these keyframes that will select all of those keyframes and then right up here you can choose to ease in and out all of those keyframes in one shot now look how much smoother this motion is we call that keyframe easing and again without any keyframe easing kind of stiff and with keyframe easing much more smooth and we can even grab some of these and extend them nice and easy a few at a time and stretch that motion. Maybe we want the ease in to be a little bit slower. And look how cool that looks in playback. Really, really smooth. 